Hello and welcome to Rick's Flicks and welcome to the start of a new playlist we're calling Store Tours. We figure there's tons of stores and merchandise in all of these theme parks. So much, where do you start? Where are you going to start with this playlist? We're going to detail like every shop and store at all the theme parks. Fingers crossed we can do all that. It's going to be a big challenge. But I thought we would start today at Universal and visit Diagon Alley and one of their most popular stores, Wise Acres. Wise Acres is located inside of the Diagon Alley section of Universal Studios. As you're looking at Gringotts Bank and the Escape from Gringotts Ride, just to your right, this store right here, this is Wise Acres Wizarding Equipment. Let's go check it out. This is Wise Acres Wizarding Equipment. Let's step inside and show you what they have to offer. As we first walk in, we have a Wizarding World little jacket here for $63. And then for $25, we have this Diagon Alley t-shirt. And then above the t-shirts, we have two style of mugs. We have the larger, more traditional mug for $15. And then for $13, we have the smaller mug Maybe a teacup? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I would call it a mug though. And then on top of this first rack, we have a puzzle, a 500 piece puzzle of Diagon Alley. Looks pretty complicated. Don't know if I could do this one. And on the other side of the rack, we have a little butter beer section. We have this t-shirt for $35. I actually have this t-shirt, but since it's not yellow, I don't wear it on camera. And then for $60, there's a butter beer hoodie and then right above all this, we have a Butterbeer mug, which again, I do own this mug as well, and it is $22. Moving on, we have this other rack in the store. This one is primarily highlighting children's sweatshirts. Each house and each sweatshirt is $45. All the four houses are here for your little one. And then above the little kid's sweatshirts, we have a four-piece tumbler set for $15. Again, representing all the houses. And then on the opposite side of this rack, we have a little magnet set. Each house represented $8 for your magnets. What about the grown-ups? What about the adults? Don't they need sweatshirts too? Well, they have them here for you guys as well. You make the big money, so you have to pay $63 for your sweatshirt. Moving on to another merchandising rack. This one full of drinkware. All types of mugs and glasses to satisfy your thirst. I am not going to lie to you guys. I am really digging this tumbler. $33 for the yellow Hufflepuff. The other houses, same price. Yellow's just prettier. Here's one that's a little smaller, both in size and in price. $25, you can have this tumbler that has like the house crest on it. So it has all the houses represented on this tumbler. $7 for the small drink glasses, 15 for the larger ones. Fancier mug, fancier price, $28 for this Hufflepuff mug. And we have another merchandise rack over here. This one is focusing on Hogwarts Express and platform nine and three quarters. $37 for this t-shirt, platform nine and three quarters, but only $27 for the Hogwarts Express hat. $65 for this platform nine and three quarters hoodie, and it's a pretty heavy hoodie. And then up above it, we have the scarf, which is $37. In Florida, the scarf, more of a fashion statement than a necessity. I need to mention to you guys about package pickup. Let's say you buy a bunch of stuff from here, some mugs, some t-shirts, whatever. Do not carry that around with you all day. Buy it at the store here, and then they will send it to package pickup for you. That's at the front of the park. And from package pickup, you can either pick it up there, or they will have it sent to your hotel lobby or your hotel room. Don't carry around this stuff with you all day. Now, back to more shopping. So there are two sections for Christmas items here. We have this rack right here, all Christmas. Here on this wall, more Harry Potter Christmas. So my favorite item on this particular rack has to be the outfits they wore to the Christmas ball. You've got Hermione's dress, you got Harry's outfit, Ron's, Victor Crumbs, the whole gang, and these are $22 a piece. But I think it's my favorite item here, as far as a Christmas item. I know I said I like those outfits, but for $19, you gotta love the Hogwarts Express ornament. In fact, all of these ornaments right here that you see are $19. 
But speaking of Christmas items, Christmas ornaments, I should remind you, Nikki does hand-painted Harry Potter Christmas ornaments, and that is for sale on her Etsy shop. I'll leave a link to her Etsy store. Go check it out if you're a Harry Potter fan, but she does more things than Harry Potter. But especially if you're a Harry Potter fan, you want a Christmas ornament, a rustic Christmas ornament, go check out Nikki's Etsy. If you want something particular to the house you're in as far as the Wizarding World, this is the Christmas ornament section for you. But honestly, if you're that big of a fan, you can leave it up year round. These that you're looking at right now, also $18, all the houses. I'm not just gonna focus on Hufflepuff, or will I? The house banners are a little cheaper at $15. There's Ravenclaw, Gryffindor. See, I'm not just gonna focus on Hufflepuff. The house Christmas bells are $17 a piece. Do you need a Christmas stocking of Harry Potter? Well, these are $33. No Hufflepuff. What the heck? No respect. First they kill off Cedric and now this? Well, you need something to hold that stocking with. Stocking holders, $45. They have gold and silver, both the same price. Stockings of Hogwarts Express, also $33. But I do like this stocking stand, this stocking holder a lot. Hogwarts Express, same price as the other one, $45. Gryffindor umbrellas, $20. Nikki actually has some of these. At least one of them. I know she has one. But the thing is, I've only seen Gryffindor. I've never seen any other house have an umbrella. $27 for this. I don't know what it is. Is it a candle holder? Is it a tree topper? Maybe it's a tree topper. In the comments below, let me know what you think this is. I'm going with tree topper. So these metallic ornaments, $20, but they do have like a plastic version for just $15. Well, I can see in here, Celestine and Warbeck and the Banshees getting ready. Let's take a break from the shopping, catch one song, and then we'll get back to the shopping. And then lastly, we have this whole wall of merchandise. Let's see what we have here. A Hogwarts pillow for $29. The matching blanket for $60. A little kitty hoodie, $50. This is a pretty cool bracelet for $37. It's like a Quidditch bracelet. You've got a snitch, you got your broom, you got your beaters, you got your trophy for when you win the Quidditch World Cup. Not bad, pretty cute. Here's another bracelet for the same price, but this one is themed around the Hogwarts Express. You got your little luggage, you got the train, you got your little ticket, your platform nine and three quarter symbol or logo. That one's cute as well. A snitch necklace for $25. I bet you this is a good seller right here. Some Gryffindor earrings for $20. They also have the other houses. I'm just trying so hard not to focus on just Hufflepuff. Here are some dangly ones for $25. Gotta show the greenhouse some love too. This unisex t-shirt, $27. The ladies tee, like a varsity, $35. 
Now there are two whole racks of this jewelry, your Harry Potter jewelry. One's more focusing on like the houses and the other rack is more focused on just like icons of Harry Potter, uh, like uh, Hogwarts or the uh, Quidditch Cup and things like that. Whereas the other rack is more focused on the houses. And here's some Hogwarts mittens, not really for use in Florida, but if you're from the UK or the Northern States, take it back home with you. $20. And another thing to note when it comes to Harry Potter merchandise, I do have my own online store and one of the categories is Harry Potter merchandise. So if you're not going to be here in the parks and you'll want some Harry Potter merchandise, go check out MyRicksFlicks.com. Not quite at the end yet guys. You're almost there though. I want to remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. Now it's not just your typical theme park stuff, they have some really cool stuff behind glass here. Let's check it out. It's really cool and really expensive. $50 will get you this time turner and that's a pretty good price for turning back time, don't you think? Here is some really cool artwork, or actually maybe it's a photograph of when Harry, Ron, and Hermione are using the dragon to escape from Gringotts. $700, actually $695 plus tax. $79 for this hourglass behind glass here. An hourglass behind glass? You know what I'm saying. $559 for this map of Diagon Alley signed by the artist. It has a raised seal on it. They only made 250 of these. This particular one that we're looking at right now is number 39 of 250. So this is actually one of the coolest items you can get in here. We have a model of the Green Gods Bank with the dragon on top, $495. Pricey, but cool. Well guys, that's gonna do it for our first store tour. Hopefully I get a fair enough amount of views that I will continue this series. That's the plan. We're gonna do all the stores here. Universal, Islands of Adventure, Disney. We're gonna hit them all, as long as I get views. And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Looks, and now, it's time to relax. Hey, how about some viewer shout outs? Thank you to the following viewers who visited my coffee page and bought me a cup of coffee recently. First up, Corolla Stoltz. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Tective from Maryland. Thank you so much, Tective. I love that name. And here's a coconut smile to some Universal AP holders. Sandra and Andy, thanks for the support, guys. Next up, a coconut smile to the family down under in Australia, Charlie and the Rigney family. Thanks, guys. And lastly for today, thank you so much to longtime viewer Raven A. We will see you at Halloween Horror Nights, Raven. I'll make sure of it.